Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Good evening, everyone. Here we are at DHA Moin Khan Academy, KTBL Season Three. Johar Jawans versus North Nawabs is the today's first game where Johar Jawans have won the toss and they have elected to field first. He's going to take the attack from the far end. Here is the first ball, and batsman had a wild swing at that one, but it goes through to the keeper as he didn't make any contact. This time, batsman has given it a go, and he has given it a go over long gone for a six outside the off stump. That was in his radar, in his arc. Here comes the first six of the night. There we go, there we go. He has put that away and put that away over the car corner. Another six to end the over. There we go again. But he pitched it up and it has been tonked away onto the onside. One bounce into the wide mid on boundary for four. He edged that one, but there isn't any protection at third man. Ball running away to the boundary for four. Doesn't matter how they come, as long as they come. Another boundary. Shafi has hit that one in the air. It is coming down towards the long leg. Has it cleared the long leg boundary? Yes, it has. Another six. This time it was Shafi Aga, the captain himself. Look at that. On the legs. And he goes again. It's going to be caught. Fielder placing himself under the ball. And he takes it. He takes it. A very good catch. He took a very good catch, I would have said. And the first wicket goes down. So captain goes. Bola always play a stubborn a stubborn kind of a strokes. He cut that away onto the onside, down towards the square leg for four. This time it's coming down towards the fine leg boundary. There isn't anybody down at the fine leg boundary. It has gone for four again. This time he's got the connection he desired for. This will give him half a dozen. It's a big blow. Wonderful, wonderful blow. That is half his polar is on fire. Saddam Shah is back into the attack and he comes back with a massive wicket of polar. This time he doesn't connect as he would have liked and he's been caught to whitish long on. Very good catch and a good comeback by Saddam Shah who was expensive in his first over. Finally a departure for half his polar. This time flicked away by A.B. Paro and he's off the mark with the boundary. Okay, Tipil committee is watching this contest. They went for it, catch it as a cry. But it has gone for four, nobody was there. Placed it beautifully, boundary here to end the over. This time he goes through the covers. It's a very good strike and it's well stopped. Or is it? No, it hasn't stopped. It's gone for four. He will go leg side and he will collect a six he was waiting for. Wow. It goes for it. Is it long enough? Yes. Once again, he has cleared the ground by a long, long way. Up goes the arms of umpire. What a bearing performance here. Better length, very full. Will he come back for two? Will he come back for two? He slipped. Oh, this could be run out here. Mix up and at the batting end, run out took place and he's not happy with his partner. Unfortunate way to get out, but he has to leave the arena. Swing and a miss. And single taken as a result of bye. So good comeback here. So finally the innings has uh, come to an end here. So. Uh, 88, they managed in their quota of six overs. 
Georgia wants uh, uh, eight years, uh, not a bad score uh, as far as uh, format is concerned. And Here's the first ball of this innings. And straight away, it is going down towards the fine leg boundary. And there isn't anybody down there, so it's four. Once again, some serious pace on offer here. This one is going and going all the way at mid wicket boundary for six. Now that is just insane. How could you hit that towards square leg? Just flicked it. Did not even use his arms at that time. Oh, that's a colossal, humongous. He bashed that one from that presence. That's a terrific shot, a massive one. Another one, another one goes over cow corner, another six. Here's the first ball of the second over. It is in the air. Filler is trying to come under the ball. He has come in and then he caught that one gladly. So the first wicket goes down. Falak gone for five. It's 23 for one. Nasir, the captain is taking strike and he has hit it in the air. Filler is paddling back a bit and he took a very good catch. Another wicket goes down. So two wickets in the same over. Baller doing a terrific stuff here. That was a simple catch. Nasser walking back for a duck. But batsman now replied him with a beautiful shot. He pulled that away. Front of square or backward of square, I reckon. Down to the boundary for four. Oh, ho, ho. What is that? What is that? That's a biggie. Another six. This is in the air. Uh, he pelted that one straight down the ground. Right blow over commentary position six. A proper bazooka. Down he goes. Bitwicket tried his level best to get around, but he couldn't four more. Runs coming thick and fast here. Pick up shot on the leg side. Once again, this time the ball is going to travel to Journey. What an awesome stroke this is from Bassett Lefty. Once again, a top shot attempted. Has that gone all the way for six? Another maximum to Bassett Lefty. Now bowling to Bassett Lefty, who has been simply exceptional. Once again, trying to hit it a little too hard. Chance for a fielder and taken. What an excellent catch this is from the wicketkeeper. He was running backwards, had to dive in front, took an excellent catch in the end to get rid of Bassett. So Bassett Lefty has been parried. He's going to walk back after scoring 38 of 13 deliveries. And with that, it's 71 for three Johar Jamans. Shahad Afri now bowling his last ball. Once again, smashed down the ground. It's into gap. And that has gone all the way for four. Wonderful placement this time from the right-hander. So all the angles are covered up for the right-hander who decides to swing and has he managed to hit it over extra cover he's swirling underneath that just couldn't hold on to it the umpires are going to check but the ball might have crossed the boundary ropes yes it did once again a pickup shot on the leg side how well has he timed that just look at the wrist power from Shara's on that ball he goes again on the leg side and I think he has timed it well enough as well. Yes, he does. So three maximums to finish off the innings and George Avans are going to finish off on 109, getting a lead, getting a valuable read of 21 runs here in the first innings.